Today, I will be drawing Jujutsu Kaisen for five hours straight. I've got my pencils and markers ready. I might be facing some cramps toward the end of this challenge. Will I still be able to finish the challenge? Well, you're about to find out. So my goal for this video is to draw a manga panel and possibly draw another character if I have time. This is my first reference, so let's get started. First, I'm going to draw Mahito. I set the timer, then I get started with his face. I know at the moment he looks like a Tarsier, but guys, you gotta trust the process. Did you know Mahito's name translates roughly into the short phrase, true human? Which doesn't make sense as Mahito is a cursed spirit. It's interesting, isn't it? Anyways, as you can see, it's finally starting to look like Mahito and not some frog poking its tongue out. I finished the drawing of his face in just 30 minutes, but then came my arch nemesis, hands. It took me multiple tries to try and get them right. which then made me realize I'd already spent an hour of the challenge just sketching one character. I was devastated. I always start my drawings with a rough sketch. It helps me get a better understanding of the proportions and placement of the features. Mahito has a very unique look, so I'm trying my best to capture it accurately. I quickly finished the sketch and then the second hour started. Now that my fellow cursed spirit Mahito is done, it's time to start drawing Toto. The mouth took a few tries, but I managed to do it. While I was drawing the big scar across Toto's right eye, I wondered how he got that scar. Later that day, I tried Googling for an answer, but I couldn't find anything. So if you do know, then let me know in the comments down below. And guess what? My arch nemesis was back. Even though Toto's hands weren't as difficult to draw compared to Mahito's, they were still challenging. I added the text, background, and the final details by hatching. Anyways, while I was drawing his muscles, I found it strange how someone as big as him got rejected by Takata. I mean, who doesn't like big buff men? Yeah, <laughs> boy. I was really happy with this drawing as it took me 15 mins less, which gave me more time. This is where my hands started to hurt, so I did a bit of stretching and went back to drawing the next character. I started this sketch by drawing the jawline first, then the ears, followed by the eyes, nose, and mouth. If you are interested in learning more on how to draw characters like me, then you can check my channel out and follow along with the videos to improve your drawings. By the time I was done with the rough sketch of Yuji Itadori's face, there were three hours left on the clock. I remember in season one, Itadori used to be my favorite character, but ever since season two introduced Choso and Toji, they had stolen the number one spot. Anyways, over here when I was drawing Yuji's fist, my knucklehead totally forgot about the knuckles. <laughs> but after a few unsuccessful tries, I finally realized that I need to draw the knuckles. And honestly, that made a massive difference to the sketch. And there it is, the drawing of the characters was finished. And right as I was about to start inking Yuji, there were only two hours left on the clock. Now to make these sketches even better, I will ink them. This will make your drawings 10 times cleaner. 
Although after a bit I realized I should have used my kneaded eraser to make the sketch lighter before I inked. I focused on enhancing details like the scratches on Yuji's face with some killer inking. Just look at Yuji's expressions, those determined eyes, and that intense look on his face. So I learned from my mistakes and proceeded to erase Toto and then ink. I like to take my time and enjoy the inking process. Here I am hatching as a form of shading on Toto's hand. Hatching and cross-hatching is something that I only implemented into my drawings recently, and my drawings have never been the same since. Once I was done with inking Toto, I moved on to ink Mojito. Over here, I switched from my Stadler 0.3mm fineliner to Sakura Micron 0.25mm. Then I used both an eraser and a kneaded eraser to remove any other pencil lines. I managed to finish the inking of all three characters, but my hand started to hurt again. To be honest, I felt like giving up, but I kept going because giving up is gay. The next step is to fill in the background and parts of the clothes. Here I'm using a brush pen to fill in the dark spaces, creating a sense of depth and making the artwork look more like a manga panel. When I was filling in the dark spots near Mojito's hair, I went really slow so I could make sure that I didn't go over the lines and potentially risk ruining the artwork. This was honestly the easiest part of this drawing. It gave me the opportunity to relax while continuing to finish the challenge. Judging by the fact that I only have 30 minutes left of this challenge, I doubt that I will be able to draw another character from Jujutsu Kaisen. But that's okay. I still managed to create this masterpiece. And there it is. I finished the manga panel with 15 minutes left. I would have loved to draw another character, but unfortunately I ran out of time. Here's the final look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Five hours of work went into this, so I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. Thanks for watching. Peace.